So what is the Extreme Budget Predator card? Um, a lot of tracks have taken off with it this year. Uh, you know, we've had, I think we're up to seven sanctioned tracks right now, um, including, uh, you know, Action Park, uh, Champion Speedway, uh, Genesee, KB Speedway, uh, Paradise, uh, Caroga, and Dodge City. Um, getting a lot of questions. So I decided to throw this quick little, uh, quick little deal together. What is it? What is an Extreme Budget Predator card? Well, the Extreme Budget Predator, uh, it's a 15-year-old chassis. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go like this because I can't figure out how to turn my camera around. This is one of mine. Um, this right here is a, that is a 98 or 99 Banshee uh, made by Phantom. That has, a, has the non-adjustable front end on it. Um, doesn't have to be non-adjustable as long as it's 15 years old. It can be fully adjustable. And uh, we have... Uh, the box stock Predator engine. When I say box stock, yeah, you got the stock exhaust, stock air cleaner. So you've got the stock air filter on it. Uh, everything, everything about it. Uh, the only things that you can do are uh, you can disconnect the sensor. Um, up underneath here, there's a spring that goes to the governor. Uh, you can run a zip tie through that governor spring. You have to leave the governor intact, but uh, but you can run the spring, or you can run the zip tie through the spring. Um, you can change the spark plug. Uh, you can run whatever spark plug you want, and you can change a carburetor jet. And you can, and it's even recommended, pull a hole in the gas cap, um, just because sometimes they do vapor lock. Or they do. I don't. It's not vapor lock, but you know they they draw. A, a little bit of vacuum and cause some cause some issues with them running. Um, highly recommend ethanol free fuel. Uh, we've had a handful of these uh, these engines after you know a couple hundred laps start going start acting funny with the with ethanol with like 87 octane in it. Don't know why. I guess it's just because uh, the way they're manufactured or something. Not really sure, but I know like the clones run the 87 without problems. But uh, highly recommend the ethanol free. I run ethanol free 90 in mine. Um, but, uh, as far as clutches, let me wanna see if I can find one. I gotta have one around here that's not together. A little tight in a trailer. Uh, well, I may be mistaken on having one part and ready to go. I thought I had one here that was, uh going to be disassembled but it's the max torque that style um has to be it's uh separated by track um we do have it's a set size i know for uh champion and action park it's 12 tooth dodge city is going with 15 tooth and uh i think Kuroga is going to start with a 15 see what happens um and uh ooh, i got myself a metal saving sliver um got it uh and i think paradise is going with 21 tooth um we do allow you to uh buy the the conversion kit so you can run the like the bully drivers on them um just because i think you can only really get like in a max actual max torque i think you can only get 15 or 16 tooth maybe some digging go a little bit higher than that but um but it has to be that max torque or max torque style when you open it up six shoes in there um but uh but yeah, um, the uh, the claimer on the engine loses $160, um, which does not include throttle linkage kit, clutch, heat shield. Other than that, pop it off and go. Um, you also have the option. Um, the claiming driver has the option of turning down the $160 and going with $40 and a swap. Um, so basically, if you want to claim an engine, you got to be willing to give yours up if they decide to swap engines with you. Um, Oh, and that open tire. Um, the reason we do open tire is because um, because we're trying to keep this as cost effective as we can. Um, and I know a lot of guys buy carts that have tires, and quite often you get a pile of tires, pile of used tires. We get a lot of guys going to swap meets, picking up used tires for cheap. So that's why we go with with that uh, with that open tire rule. Um, but other than that, there's not really um, like I said, there's uh, you know cost containment. No ceramic bearings, which I mean, there's a huge savings in itself. 
So realistically, you should be on the track for well under a thousand dollars, race ready, ready to go. I know the clutches. Like I, I buy the twenty two dollar clutches from Amazon. The engines are one hundred and forty nine dollars plus tax right now, and uh, you've got a rolling chassis that's. 15 years old shouldn't have any of the high-end bearings or anything like that on it so really there shouldn't they shouldn't be crazy priced um but yeah other than that uh they're they're a ball of fun they're really they're as cost effective as you can get um i guess i didn't skip over the the, or i guess i did skip over the just side side panels uh no nose piece however um there's a concern about ankles so uh we do have a few guys that built uh you know basically you know, I, I can't see the back of that. i can't reverse my camera on here for some reason but basically they'll put uh um you know they'll put like ankle guards up in here like basically wrap this around and just protect your ankles um because being open wheel they do tend to hop tires on occasion um that's allowed no top on just sides um you know we don't want anybody building aerodynamic advantages here um it's just a protection thing and obviously they're not required so it's not a it's not a required expense um but uh but yeah so that's what the that's what the extreme budget predator is and uh and hopefully we'll see you at uh, one of our sanctioned tracks talk to you later